welcome to BW Legal World. Today we have with us Dr. Mukul Shastri, General Counsel, Cube Highways. So Mr. Shastri, uh, my first question to you would be, uh, retaining talent in a company, in, in an in-house legal department is very crucial for a company's growth. How do you ensure to retain best talent, best lawyers in your team and simultaneously uphold the uh, facets of DEI? Thanks. Uh, so, absolutely right, Costa, and it's a very wonderful question. Nowadays, talent retention is the most crucial aspect uh, for any, any GC. Uh, so, there are two, three things that we do at least, or I have been doing in my past um, avatars also. One is to ensure that they are also part of the decision making. So, it's a collective decision making. So, that whatever decisions we are taking, it is not one decision of a GC, but it's a decision of the entire team. We all are together, everybody is empowered to come out, vouch um, for whatever they feel like, come out, say things, and then whatever decision making ultimately is done is a collective decision making. We do a, so, the, the, so they feel part of the uh, system. So that's one very important thing that we've been doing throughout. So that is one reason. Second is, obviously, is the uh, right compensation for the right person. Because right now, every single thing, because we have a lot of opportunities open. Um, we have law firms, we have other uh, uh, players available. Now even the big fours have their own uh, GC than the team. So therefore, the right compensation is very much required. And therefore, you have to benchmark what is the compensation market is. It is not that, yes, I'll give you some 8% increment, 10% increment, and that is it. That cannot work, actually, in, in nowadays, especially when there's so much of competition, so much opportunities available for people to go. So therefore, we have to benchmark at the right place and ensure that their competition is uh, their compensation is with the, the, the market competition. So that is the, the second thing that we do. And third and the most important thing is we try to use more and more of technology. We leverage technology as much as possible. So therefore all the mundane works and my aim is that in some time all these mundane legal works like drafting, like basic research, all these things can be outsourced to machines and computers. Uh, we can just get away with that and the, and the persons, the humans, uh, the lawyers, they are meant to do only the qualitative aspect of things, the strategy part, the quality part of that. So once we have these things, obviously your, your retention is much higher, people feel motivated. So these are various steps that we take to ensure Sure that right talent is retained in our company. Thank you. So, uh, have you incorporated use of artificial intelligence and machine learning in your uh, systems? We are right now. Already, we have one software of Legit Quest that we have, uh, which is based on AI. Uh, like we are even exploring more to have AI-based softwares for our research and tools. And I'm in touch with a lot of people, already again one actually and others, uh, whereby we want to now explore that where our research and drafting can be completely uh, done by machine. And this is what I feel the time has now come, that AI's technology is going to disrupt the market completely. Another two or three years we will see, not only in legal departments or law firms, but even in courts also, there will be heavy reliance on all these AI tools and AI-based uh, research tools, contract drafting, etc., etc. Because that is what the need of R is. Now humans, uh, if because the time has gone now when you're doing all the research manually or you have books to research things, now you have softwares and you have right um, keywords you have to key in. So an AI can be easily developed. So you can, what is AI? AI is nothing, you feed data and AI learns that okay in six months there's a requirement. So there can be AI tools which will help me in understanding what is my requirement. Like I am in a private equity platform. So what kind of legal requirements I am in? What are, what are the laws that require me? Likewise, there can be some medical pharma company which has a different uh, legal requirements. So that AI tool can learn that this is what the research they want to and then pick up in six months eight months and can help us in, in in delivering quicker results so i feel the time has come and two three years ai is going to disrupt the market and to answer your question yes we are aligned to this idea right now that many tools are not available but we are using it in whatever little capacity we can lovely thoughts dr shastri thank you for speaking to bw legal world thank you